What's up YouTube, it's your girl Jada Jonay and I am back with another video and as you already see by the title, today I'm going to be showing you guys from start to finish how I install my own wig. So that's bleaching, plucking, I'm going to let y'all know all the process. Major shout out to Ali Pearl for sponsoring this video. I'm going to give you guys all the tea on how I install these wigs, so let's get into it. So, starting out, I do like to spray the hairline with got to be spray. And then I'm just going to go in with my hot comb on the highest setting and brush all of those hairs back so there's no little tiny hairs in the way. So you want to make sure you do this all the way back just so like when you're bleaching the knots, none of the small hairs get bleached. So once you do that, you're going to go ahead and unpin the wig and you're going to flip it around on the other side. And as y'all can already kind of tell, this wig already came pretty pre-plucked nicely. And so the bleach that I use is L'Oreal Quick Blue. I prefer this over BW2. BW2 pulls a little too orange for my liking. Um, and this particular wig, I did use 50 volume developer, but I do prefer 30 or 40. This was all I had. So the mixing process, I don't really go by measurements. A lot of people like to go by measurements, but honestly, I don't do it the right way. So I just, you know, I waste a lot of product, not gonna lie, but I just add a couple scoops and then start putting the developer until it's a very thick consistency. So here is me adding some developer and y'all see i started and it was a little too you know grainy so i just added some more and you know mix that up and you're just gonna keep adding until it's the consistency that you want and you see that this is like the, the consistency of toothpaste and that's how i liked it so i took i do mine instead of with the applicator brush i like to use a butter knife so i have like a bunch of plastic knives that i use and literally just gonna spread it on there like butter i told y'all you know plenty of times like you know in the past videos like this is the easiest way for me to do it i, I always over over bleach when i use the applicator brush because it always goes through I over bleach anyway. I pretty much over bleach all my wigs, but sometimes over bleaching isn't bad because it does make it look a little more natural. So I'll honestly say like if you over bleach just a little, you don't have to go in with any dye, but if you do over bleach like badly, I would go in and correct it. So I let that sit for no amount of minutes. Once your wig looks like this, you can see it's ready. You know, the roots are yellow and you know, it looks more like a scalp. So. Once you do that, you just rinse it off. I didn't record me rinsing it off, but this is how it looked after the fact. And as y'all see, I over bleached, but I didn't over bleach too badly. So I didn't even bother, you know, going in with any um, hair dye like I would usually. So for plucking, I like to part the beginning of the hairline off. And my method isn't really structured. I kind of just go all over the place, but you never want to pluck in the same spot. So I just take my tweezer man tweezers and literally just start plucking out hair until it's you know to my liking as y'all see like that spot compared to the other spot is you know much um thinner compared to that thicker spot right there and i do like to pluck throughout my entire frontal just because i feel like it gives the look that i personally like some people don't like to pluck too much um in the back of the frontal because you know frontals can bald but you know i don't really mind that you know what i'm saying um i'm not wearing the wig that long if if i can be honest so i um pluck it to my liking exact and then you know just follow through and you're just gonna you know do sporadic plucking and just making sure it looks like a scalp like i said it's really no method you kind of just you kind of just get it over time honestly i don't really know how to do thoroughly explain it but y'all see where i'm going with it you just pluck in literally just plucking the hair out i prefer to pluck wet a lot of people pluck dry but i am definitely a wet plucker and for a moment i was going um following eric and tay's method um i think he plucks dry from what i saw in his video personally i for me to properly install a wig i just had to go back to the way i used to do it because i was trying to take all these steps and follow all this stuff and i was noticing i wasn't liking my installs as much I didn't show me plucking the other side but once you finish plucking you're just gonna spray that got to be again and then you're just gonna use the hot comb to you know hot comb that hairline back and as y'all see that hairline literally looks like perfect like I did the thing like it was really fire so really it's just a learning process um but definitely take your time with plucking and really sit down and you know get to it 
and I really think it came out good. So I already had a ball cap on, y'all. Not gonna lie, so I didn't do the ball cap method. Um, but yeah, so I just added my makeup into the wig, and as y'all see, ball cap method is simple. I know I skipped it, but all you gotta do is you know apply it with some ghost bond on your skin and let it sit and it'll be on there i have plenty of videos on that to show y'all but as y'all know i use ghost bond xl and i go in with like three or four layers depending on how long i'm gonna wear my wig and you know just spread it out with a popsicle stick and once it dries clearly you're gonna um apply a second layer so y'all see now it's clear so I had to cut my wig into three sections because that's how I prefer to lay my wig down. And as y'all see, like I already knew that this wig was going to be fine just from, you know, the hairline, the plucking and all of that. The plucking is going to set you up for, you know, a fat install. Also the lace, y'all. This is HD lace. Highly recommend in investing in quality lace because I just feel like even if you don't know how to do a wig for real, HD lace is going to automatically melt into your head. Even if you're not like five five with the installs, you get what I'm saying? Like you don't really have no experience. I would highly recommend HD Lace. It is a little thin, so it rips and pulls a little easier, but HD Lace just melts so much differently than any other lace that I've ever experienced. So then after I, you know, put it down, I like to go in with the Wonder Lace by Even, and I just spray it down just for a double layer of protection. And so this just makes it, you know, you know, a little more secure without just the glue. And yeah. So, and it also brings, it kind of wets the lace, so it kind of makes it more of a scalp number color. I don't know if y'all kind of realize that, but yeah, this install was, you know, A1. But I definitely attribute that to the lace, specifically. So, if you notice any pieces, you know what I'm saying, that's not glued down, you can always go back in and, you know, secure them with some more glue or something like that. So, that's what I'm going in with the ghost bond. And once that dried, I just put that part down. So always check. You can always cut it off, but sometimes it's some parts that you need. So then I'm gonna go in with my elastic band. I leave that on for about 20, maybe 30, 40 minutes. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Till it hurts, really. And then after that time's up, I take it off and y'all already see it's melted. So then I'm gonna go in with a straight eyebrow razor and literally just cut that lace off. And y'all see no baby hairs is melted and you can tell that my orange my scalp is a little orange because i did over bleach but it's not terrible and it's i'm gonna fix it once i add the baby hairs so honey let's talk about it let's talk about it <laughs> yeah so i was going for a side part i don't know it's something about side parts big voluminous side parts with curly hair that just does it for me so i'm pulling out the baby hairs and y'all see this is without baby hairs and this is where i tend to struggle a little bit more with edges but i'm kind of you know getting better here and there you just gotta kind of treat it like it's your natural hair so i don't well no not really because it's i don't know how to describe it but you literally just learn over time how to do baby hairs how you like them baby hairs have definitely evolved too so i definitely want to do a side part so i you know went in and curved my part and if I'm not mistaken, I was making a TikTok, you know. So then I just go in and, you know, define that part because the part, I just love a really defined part. I just think it looks really nice and clean and natural. So I'm just cleaning that part with some concealer to define it. And then I'm going to go in with this um, root touch up, you know, thing that I bought from the hair store. I think it's by Revlon. I'm not sure. But I just use this to help perfect the part even more. So then for the baby hairs, you're going to go ahead and cut those with a straight razor. Pluck them to your liking. Some people like thicker edges. Some people like thinner. I like mine right in the middle. Cut it. You know, they can be bigger. They can be shorter. Like Again, I like mine in the middle. I don't like super big edges, but I don't like super small edges either. So just curling those up and then you're just going to swoop them. The curling helps help some swoop even more i kind of prefer curly hair um doing curly wigs because it's easier to do the baby hairs because they don't have to be so perfect because you know curly hair is curly hair so i'm just swooping them with some got to be gel the black bottle um i didn't show y'all so that's what i'm showing y'all and yeah so you do that on both sides and like i said you have to alter baby hairs baby hairs is definitely a process so like i felt like they weren't even on both sides so at the end i did have to go in and add some more hair to the other side just to see like just to make it even because i kind of like 
some type of symmetry but not quite it doesn't have to be super symmetric but the front two with that gap in the middle they have to be kind of on the same length you know on the same you know pattern so that's what I'm doing just perfecting my baby hairs like I said it's a process y'all I'm not the best at explaining but I hope y'all are getting it visually and like I said wigs over time you just learn and like I said HD lace definitely helps because it just it just does So here I'm about to, you know, start wetting the hair. I'm not gonna put too much product in it because I didn't wanna weigh the hair down too early, you know, with me just installing it. So I did just add some mousse, but the curl on this hair is very gorgeous. I will say it did get a little tangle in the nape area over the course of me wearing it for like three or four days. Um, but I like, I honestly think that's kind of normal for you know curly wigs i don't know i've always experienced that with most curly wigs not you know immense tangling but there's always a little bit of tangling just because this curly hair is big it's 30 inches as long as thick so yeah and i don't really put many products on it either to really define it so that's what i will say but the curl pattern on this hair was gorgeous i loved how it dried sometimes curly hair dries you know not cute to me and bushy but yeah this hair was given for real for real Alright you guys, so this is the finished product. I really, really love this wig. This is definitely one of my favorites by far. And I feel like I'm getting back into the game. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Please like, comment, subscribe. All the links will be down below in the description box. Major shout out to Ali Pro for sponsoring this video. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. And I will see you guys in my next freaking video. Bye bye. <laughs>